Hi everyone, today we're making tavuk kapama or a Turkish baked chicken pilaf, also known as chicken kapama. Tavuk kapama is a very popular Turkish dish. It's served as the main dish along with some salads or sides. In earlier times, it was baked in a special clay ovens with special type of lid on top. The name itself, kapama, refers to this closure. This chicken kapama is the main dish for our special Turkish kapama dinner that we're serving up for Christmas. I hope you try this recipe. I did share the recipe for the beef ribs earlier. This is a spectacular dish that you can serve for Christmas or any special dinner. To serve, we place the earthen pot over a tray of live fire for visual pleasure and then cut open the flour casing to reveal the steaming kapama. Let's get started with the recipe. For this, we have one whole chicken, around one kilogram cut into half, preferably Please use chicken with the skin on. Today, I got my chicken from the supermarket without skin. Leaving the skin on before roasting in the oven ensures a nice juicy chicken. So please keep the skin on. To this, we're going to add some black peppercorn, one teaspoon and one teaspoon of sweet paprika. And here, Turkish sweet red pepper, if it's available, is the best option. We're also gonna add three tablespoons of freshly crushed garlic. So I did poke the chicken in several areas with a fork, that's for the flavors to penetrate better. To this we're going to add salt to taste, about one teaspoon I've added, and one tablespoon of fresh lemon or lime juice. Then we're going to add our fresh herbs. We have rosemary, just a small sprig of rosemary, and thyme, three sprigs of thyme. So these are our ingredients for the chicken and we're going to drizzle some olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons over the top and then we're going to give this a nice massage, make sure all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. Just leave that aside for maybe 10 minutes, not too long. And before we bake, we're also going to add three to four large potatoes that have been cut into large chunks. I'm just adding a little bit of extra salt for the potatoes here. Wrap this securely with aluminum foil and then we're going to place this in our preheated oven at 163 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the chicken in the oven on the lower rack and bake for 40 minutes. Then transfer to the top rack and turn on the oven setting to broiler uh, so that there's only heat from above and continue to cook for 20 to 25 minutes till the skin has turned nice golden brown. Now in the case of the chicken with skin, you can remove the foil paper when you place it on a broiler setting so that the skin gets nice and crisp. And meanwhile, we can prepare the rice. For the rice, we have three cups of basmati rice that has been rinsed a couple of times till the water runs clear. Add fresh water and leave to soak for 10 minutes. Afterwards, drain the rice and set aside for 10 minutes. Once the chicken is done baking, it should have nice crispy brown skin. My chicken did not have the skin, that is why it doesn't. So I'm going to leave this to cool off. To do so, we're going to remove the chicken pieces as well as the potato to a separate bowl. And then the broth that remains, we're going to strain this and measure how much broth we have. I ended up with approximately one cup of broth. Just set that aside. Heat three tablespoons of butter in a non-stick pan preferably and add the drained rice. Add half a teaspoon of black peppercorns as well as four to five green cardamom pods. Optionally, you may also add one bay leaf. Fry on a medium heat for two minutes till the rice is nice and aromatic. Transfer the fried grains to a large enough earthen pot for cooking the rice. Spread the rice evenly over the bottom of the pot. Return the pan that we used earlier to heat up two tablespoons of olive oil. To this, add one and a half cups of chopped onions, preferably white or yellow onions. Saute the chopped onions till softened. To this, add two tablespoons of sliced green chili to taste and two tablespoons of green bell pepper or capsicum. Saute briefly. Stir in one teaspoon of tomato paste. Stir till mixed through. 
also add two chopped tomatoes. Cook till the tomatoes are softened to a pulp. Add one teaspoon of sweet paprika or Turkish red pepper, add three fourths of a teaspoon of black pepper powder, and just less than a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Stir this till the spices are cooked. Now transfer the sauteed ingredients over the rice in the earthenware. Don't mix this, just spread over the rice layer. Add the reserved measured broth as well as enough water to make six cups of liquid. So my cup measure is one cup is 240 ml. Add two and a half teaspoons of salt. Again, we're not stirring this and we're just going to bring this to a boil. Meanwhile, we're going to remove the chicken from the bones to shred by hand, fairly large shreds like this. Just remove all the chicken from the bones and set that aside. Over here, as soon as the water has come to a boil, you want to quickly cover this with a tight lid and reduce the heat and cook until the water is completely absorbed. This takes about 10 minutes. Make sure you didn't boil the water too long before you reduce the heat and covered it. After 10 minutes, the rice is cooked. You can see the tomato uh, and the sauteed ingredients has come up to the top in the cooking process because we didn't stir it during cooking. Now we're going to saute the shredded chicken very quickly. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to the same pan used earlier in heat. Add a quarter cup of crushed garlic and saute till just fragrant without changing color. Add one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of mild chili powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. Stir till the spices are fragrant and add the shredded chicken. We're just going to toss this till everything is heated through. No additional cooking. The chicken is already cooked. Taste and add more salt if needed here. Add this delicious sautéed chicken mixture over the rice, give it a gentle press down firmly and then we're going to add the roasted potatoes that we cooked along with the chicken. Also add some additional roasted or fresh vegetables. It's best to use roasted vegetables here. Um, add vegetables like green bell pepper, white onion and tomatoes all cut into chunks. You also want to fire roast 10 to 12 hot green chilies on a skewer. Roast these on an open flame till they're slightly charred. And then we're going to add these fire roasted chilies over the rice. You can also poke them into the rice so that they develop more flavor. These flame roasted green chilies add great flavor as well as aroma to the rice. So earlier we prepared a dough using 250 grams of flour and water. I added a little yeast starter to help roll out the dough easily after it was kneaded. This is not for consuming, but if you would like to eat it, I would prepare the dough similar to making naans. Roll out this dough into a large circle, large enough to fall over the edges of the earthen pot. Place on top of the pot and seal the edges gently. Brush the surface with an egg wash with a little oil and milk or yogurt added to it. This prevents the sheet of dough from cracking during the baking process. Place in a preheated oven once again with heat from above and below. Bake for 20 minutes or till the dough is cooked. If the dough is browning too fast, reduce the heat or provide heat from below only. If that's an option on your oven. And for our beautiful presentation, uh, to serve we're going to place the clay pot on a large plate lined with foil paper. Add a few drops of wax, that's wax used in tabletop wax stoves. As a precaution, add only a few dabs so that the flames die down quickly. Um, use a long lighter to do this. And before the flames die down, uh, we want to cut open the dough. Do this by cutting around half of the circle and then opening to one side to reveal your steaming hot, delicious Tabu kapama or chicken kapama rice. This presentation is a big part of this Christmas feast and everyone will enjoy the unveiling of the chicken kapama rice at the table. So my flames are dying down and now we can begin to serve the rice. 
serve the chicken kapama rice while it's nice and hot the rice is very moist and flavorful the perfect side dishes are the baked turkish beef ribs the video i shared earlier as well as roasted eggplant dip and um, that's delicious as well i'll be sharing that very soon i hope you enjoyed this video recipe thank you so much for watching merry christmas everyone